Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris from Inkfrog. I'm doing a video today for a question that does pop up from time to time, and that is how do you add store category links to a designer template? This is going to be a very quick tutorial. It's going to show you how our store links widget works and how you can populate it with important links. Usually people use this for category links, but they can also use it for things like uh, linking to specific pages in your store. The only rule is that you can only link to an eBay link eBay does not allow you to hyperlink off of their web property. So I'm going to use the template you see on my screen as an example. This is an existing Inkfrog client, Platinum Wholesale. We've been working on a template for them for a little while now. And I figured I'd just take a few minutes to record this, and they gave us their permission because the person uh, that we deal with there, Jason, is really awesome and friendly, and he was willing to serve as a volunteer for this. So what we're going to do is on their template here, they have this big list of categories. That's because these guys sell quite a few different products. Now we want to say, well, we're missing a store category here and we want to add it. So there's a couple of things that we need to do to make this happen. First, we need to edit their designer template. The way you do that is you access Inkfrog Designer. You can do that by logging into your Inkfrog account and clicking on the templates button and then you can navigate to it to there. Or you could just go to builder.inkfrog.com. So this takes you into Designer, and as long as you are logged into your Inkfrog Open account, you'll see a little private button in the top right corner, which will let you access your private repository. So these are just your templates, either ones that we've built for you, ones that you've built yourself, or ones that uh, you saw in our uh, pre-made list and you copied into your account. So anytime you make any changes to a template, it shows up in here. So we're going to edit their template. So this is their eBay listing template that's powered by Inkfrog Designer. We're going to click on Back to Editor. This lets you actually make changes to the template. And then we're going to scroll down to their categories. Now, the categories that we use on our templates is powered by something called the Store Links widget. And the way it works is it's basically just a bullet list where you provide the anchor text, which is the text description, and then the actual link. So when you have this on a template, you just double click on it to pop open this little window. And it asks you, what is your eBay username and what is your eBay store name? In most cases, these are the same, but sometimes they're not. So we have a field there, and then you make sure you just specify what the which eBay marketplace is that you're selling on. Now, that covers the basics of it. Now, what we want to do is add or subtract buttons from here, and the way you do that is click on the little button order tab. This is every button that is on that menu. So these are all of their categories all the way down to vacuum cleaners, which is the bottom one on their list. Now we're going to add a new category here. And the way we do that first is we click add a custom button. It pops it onto the bottom. And we're just going to add a test. When we're going to say, what comes after V? Uh, w, waffles, waffle irons. We're just going to say the Platinum Wholesale is now selling waffle irons and they want to add a category to there. They, I don't think they actually sell those, but for the sake of example and just keeping it alphabetical, that's what we're going to do. The next thing we need is the link to their store category for that. The way you get that is you have to go to your eBay store. So a quick and easy way to do this is you pull up your listing. So this is the Platinum Wholesale listing, and we're just going to go up, and we're going to click on their eBay username, Platinum Wholesale Group. I'm going to open this in a new tab just to keep this window open. And then we just click on Visit Store. So this is the eBay storefront for Platinum Wholesale. And then all you would need to do is if you have the category widget turned on in your eBay store, it should show every single category that you have products for sale in on the left. You just scroll down to the one you want and you can right click on it with your mouse and then you just say copy link address. So if they don't have a waffle uh, category, so we're just gonna take the other one as an example. So I click right click on other and then copy link address. I'm gonna go back to my template and then I'm just going to delete the default here and paste it in. So that's the link now. And then we're just going to click Update. And we'll see down here now, Waffle Irons is now displaying on the category list. Now, before this will appear on eBay, you have to save your template. You'll see up in the top right corner, it says your template name. And then in the little bracket, it says Edited. That means you've made changes, but they haven't been saved yet. Now, we've added some functionality to this where it will automatically save after every three to five changes for you, but sometimes it doesn't work, it'll pop up a little error. So 
whenever you're making a big change, you just want to force the change, and you do that by clicking on Save, Save Template. It will take a moment, and it will say Saved. It will pop up that little green message. Now, it will update the, every listing referencing this template within about 15 to 30 minutes. It depends on uh, how backlogged eBay is. But if you want to see the change right away, you can just edit your listing in InkFrog. So this is the actual listing that we are looking at. The uh, Tennessee Titans Vintage Cancer Ribbon. Tennessee Titans Vintage Cancer Ribbon. And we've already got this template selected in their template. They've got a couple copies of it, but we've got uh, the one that we're currently working on. So as long as that's there, and we're just going to basically update this listing. And all you do is just click Save and Revise Listing in InkFrog. What that does is it grabs a fresh copy of the template, it updates it with the item description in InkFrog, and then it updates eBay with all that information. There we go, listing successfully saved and revised. So if I go back to the listing now, if I hit refresh, and scroll down, there we go. We have added waffle irons to this category list. Now I'm gonna take that out because they don't sell waffle iron, but that's basically how it works. So I'm going to go remove that quickly. We just go back, we double click on the store links widget. We go down to the button list and we're going to say, no, nope, we're not actually selling waffle iron. So we're going to take that out. So we just click the little trash can and then update. And then we save the template once again. Wait for it. There we go. And then we're just going to tell InkFrog to force the listing to update right now instead of waiting the 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, the listing is updated. I'm just going to double check to make sure that the waffle irons category was removed from the template. And there it is, it's gone. So we got vacuum cleaners and all items for sale, just like we had before. So there you go. It takes about a couple of seconds tops to do this. And uh, once you get uh, some practice with it, it's really easy. You can add pretty much any kind of links you want here, but the only caveat is it has to be to an eBay URL. So either a store category, a specific page on your eBay store, you can link to other listings and such, but you can't link to say Facebook or your Shopify or big commerce websites. eBay will not allow it. They'll actually block it and they'll put up this big red text in the place of the hyperlink saying link removed by eBay and it doesn't look very good. So it's not recommended you do that. All right, have a wonderful day.